Hello, and finally, welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we'll be taking a look at the HGUC Revive Goof, or Goof Revive. The order doesn't really matter. Point is, I'm glad to be back. If you're watching this in the future, I took a couple weeks off for uh, personal reasons. But anyway, now the uh, Goof was mass-produced later on in the series, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is Rumble Rolls. Mostly because I like the character too much to not have this be his. But anyway, as always, let's start off by taking a look at the articulation. Now, uh, starting off, the, the eye is articulated, so I'll pull the head off to show that. It's on one of the little sliders that they do for the Zakus, usually. It, it can't turn all the way for some reason, which is a bit of an odd choice. It can only get that far to either side, but... Uh, I'm going to straighten that back out. It is able to turn, at least. Back on. Uh, you don't. I mean, you get a little bit of up, a little bit of down, but I mean, it's just there's not much of a neck in there, so <laughs> a little bit side to side, and uh, I mean, it can actually turn the head at least, which is nice. Just not a ton, but you still get some pretty good articulation out of the head. Now the shoulders are on a forward-facing polycap, however on mine they're really tight, uh, like the ball joint pulls out before the uh, actual socket does. Well, the left arm seems to be alright, but the right one, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure why it's like that. It can actually come out, it's just really tight. Not. Not too big a deal, honestly. Uh, a little bit annoying, but it's fine. They, they do get a hinge up this way. Also, the shoulder itself is on a hinge and a slight rotation there. Uh, I can hinge out to about 90 degrees, so it does look kind of weird with this up. Oh, but it can still get 90 degrees even with it down, so it's not really a big deal. All jointed obviously so full rotation full rotation at the upper arm double jointed elbow but I would recommend bending this one first and uh, just because of how bulky the uh, the arm is it doesn't get a uh, full bend but I mean it still gets a decent bend and as always ball joint at the wrist uh, there are two ball joints in the chest, but just because of how tight these are, and also just how bulky everything is, you don't really get much movement out of the waist. Uh, effectively, the torso is completely solid, honestly. You're really not going to get much movement out of it. Uh, back skirt is solid. These ones are hinged and also swiveled. And these front skirts, which uh, are pretty small, actually ball jointed into the side, not the front. So you see it moves with the side skirt. The hips are on the usual side to side rocking and universal joints in the hip itself. It can get uh, out of the way. <laughs> you know, you shift it over, it gets about 90 degrees out to the front. A normal amount to the back and it does actually have a pretty good knee bend there is actually a third joint in here but uh, it doesn't actually move don't really know why they did it that way honestly but um, it's fine get that back uh, the ankles are interesting they don't get a ton to the back I mean it's not not too bad, but they uh, they get quite a bit to the front. Uh, maybe a bit more than you really need, honestly. Uh, that's with the foot flat against the ground. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, it's a it's a bit of an odd thing. I kind of wish they went back a little bit further, honestly. The, some poses, it's... Eh. Thankfully, it does get a pretty decent side-to-side, -side, so it's not too big of a deal there. So, uh... The articulation is good, but unfortunately it gets limited by the actual suit design itself. The waist and the ankles do get a little bit uh, in the way of posability at times. But you can still pretty much pull off whatever pose you feel like. So it's not really too big of a deal. Oh, also real quick, I just want to point out, I don't normally paint my kits this much, but this one's important to me, so I painted it as I built. But uh, going forward, don't expect a full wash like this on my kits. Uh, speaking as I was building, though, this thing still looks really good even without paint on it. Honestly, just a bit of panel lining and it would look pretty much excellent. Also, I would like to take a moment to point out that this kit is uh, almost entirely color accurate. The only sticker in the entire kit is for the mono eye. And if they'd made that a separate piece, well, this thing is a fairly basic color scheme anyway, but it is nice that it is entirely color accurate aside from the mono eye. Now, moving on to accessories, uh, let's bring the goof back in for a second to show off. This is a closed fist, this is a holding hand. You also get a holding hand for the right arm, and also the gun hand for the goof, which uh, is actually articulated. The thumb is on a ball joint and the fingers are connected, but it wouldn't be too difficult to separate them, though I'm not really sure why you would want to, considering they're all straight anyway, so... The option's there, anyway. Next up, we have the shield. Uh, there is an alternate shield as well, but it doesn't have the uh, dark blue piece, but it has the main body. Uh, the difference is, instead of having a fold-up handle, it's just a solid peg. But uh, they both can store the sword hilts. You get both a left and a right, which is uh, fair enough. It means you can dual wield. I don't remember seeing a goof dual wield in the show, but uh, maybe my memory is just failing me there. Let's get this out. There we go. Handle, you do have two of these. Just slide it on. It's nice. I'm pretty sure I put it on the wrong way around. I, in fact, did. So let's get that on the right way this time. Come on. There we go. And you just Break out the hand, which is using the standard Xeon hand, which actually has a full <laughs> palm, which is nice. It's just better detail, basically. Though it does mean you have to kind of fiddle with the thumb. I actually uh, shaved down the peg holding the thumb on a little bit because I was finding it kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, I also, on the gun holding hand, there's a, a like a three millimeter peg-ish holding it together and I snipped that on an angle just so it's easier to get apart. I did that because I painted these and didn't want to scratch all the paint off, but uh, it may be slightly annoying to get them apart anyway, so I could recommend shaving it down a little bit. Anyway, you can see the slot in the hand. You can just take the sword in and then put the, the hand over it again. That does let me move on to this rather quickly as it's also held in the hand a peg, if I can get it lined up. There we go. And this is the heat rod, which is not a rod and does not use heat. I don't know why they called it that. It's an electro whip. Uh, it, it uses electricity and it's a whip. I don't know why it's called a heat rod, but anyway. Put that in the hand, since I'm probably going to be displaying it like that. Get the 
goof in, pull out the closed fist, and there is a fairly loose ball joint on the end of this that just pegs in there, and then peg the wrist in, and that's held very securely, and it's light enough that it doesn't lose its shape, which was something I was worried about, but thankfully it actually does seem to hold its place in the air fairly well. Also, the uh, heat rod is a soft, bendable plastic with a metal wire through it, so you can pose it. It comes straight on the runner. This is just a standard S-curve. Uh, the only thing is, you're not really going to get any crazy bends out of this unless you heat it up and put it in something more permanent. So, I'm glad the option's there, but it is a little bit uh, unfortunate that it will inevitably break if you mess with it too much. And that's it. Uh, four hands. There are some additional parts I'll go over, but as for what you're supposed to use, there's four hands, three of which are closed, the other of which is a shooting hand, two swords, even though you probably are only going to use one, but hey, it looks cool, so I can't really complain. And I mean, getting a second one is nice. You can just give it to another figure if you want. Or like I said, dual wield. And having a handle so that they can actually be uh, held by the hand does mean you can get away with some better poses if you really want to. Instead of just having it pegged onto the back of the arm, which I forgot to show, just pegs on either side, pegs in there. A little bit low, I think. I, I, I'm pretty sure in the show it's more like here? But, uh, not, not a big deal. But, yeah, I, uh... Personally, I kind of wish it came with, like, an open hand or something for the, the right hand. Just, like, a, a standard splayed hand. They already have the mold for it. It wouldn't have been... Oh, uh, well. Now, moving on to those extra parts I was talking about. You have an alternate piece for the lower arm, which is interesting and I have no idea what these runners came from originally so I'm just going to assume it was another goof. You have an alternate head which yeah your guess is as good as mine. I think this may be from the old goof perhaps possibly uh, or the goof custom. It's probably from the goof custom now that I think about it. But it's funny that you actually do end up using the uh, antenna from this, but not the rest of the head. The one that you end up using, uh, the vents inside the nose are actually molded into the nose itself and aren't uh, on the head. You do actually get the left hands. I, I cut this one out because I was planning on cutting the both out, but I decided against it. Both the closed fist and the holding hand for the left hand, if you don't want the gun one. It does have the uh, back plates for those as well. And here is the alternate shield I was talking about, which just has a peg on the back. Now, as for a quick size comparison, uh, the blue one, blue might not. No, it looks fine. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean average height for a mobile suit. Not really a lot to talk about here. Uh, it looks like the goof. The proportions are good. The size is nice. It's, it's a goof. <laughs> so to wrap this review up, uh, I can 100% recommend buying this kit, though I may be slightly biased because I really like the goof and Rob a roll. Uh, but this kit does a really good job of, well, reviving the goof. Uh, the, ar the articulation does have a few limited points, but like I said, that's because of the actual design of the suit. There's not a lot you can do about it. But what articulation it does have, it does exceptionally well. And you have no trouble getting it into, within reason, whatever pose you want. Really, my only complaint is that there's no splayed hand for the right one, but... That's just me wanting more dynamic posing. It does everything it needs to do. It comes with more accessories than it needed with that second sword. And just 
generally I really like this kit, honestly. I have heard uh, some complaints about the cockpit windows in the chest stressing the plastic. Uh, I didn't have that problem. I did shave down the middle uh, pillar, whatever whatever you want to call it, the, the center bit in between the, the windows. On the inside, just a little bit, but I don't think that made much of a difference. I just didn't push the windows in too far. I think that's what the problem is. People are just forcing them in there and it stresses the plastic. If you just push them in until they stop, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't get in the way of the articulation at all. Speaking of the windows, I'd recommend cutting off a little bit of the foil sticker left over and putting it in behind them, because I did that and man, it glows. I'm sure you've seen it throughout the review, but man, that picks up some serious light. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy to be back and hopefully returning to a more regular schedule. I might not be putting out two reviews every single week, but I'll certainly try. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, it helps with the algorithm. Subscribe for future reviews, and you can watch a fairly sizable backlog at this point. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, happy building.